Hi everyone, uh, this is my new robot here. Um, this one's made out of a three dollar uh, chassis from uh, RC car, RC Hummer from uh, Goodwill. Um, that's a really good place to buy chassis because they're really cheap. Uh, a lot of the RC cars there don't have remote controls so you won't be able to do any sort of remoting from, uh, with it. But you can strip off the body and put a robot on it, or a robot, uh, robotic controller. Uh, this right here is an Arduino. And here's the eyes. I have three eyes on this. Uh, they're ultrasonic um, parallax ping uh, ultrasonic sen sensors. Um, what they do is they tell a distance in inches or centimeters um, about how far something is uh, away from the eye. I believe it goes around 100 uh, inches, so that's what I can get out of it. Um, right there is the motor controller. This is the uh, Palalu Quick 2S9V1. And uh, it's a really good motor controller. It has uh, 1 amp standard and 3 amp max uh, output. So it's plenty enough to run um, the rear motor and uh, also the front uh, turn motor. Um, and one bad part about this chassis is uh, it doesn't have a very good turn radius. Uh, I guess Hummers don't have good turn radiuses. Um, so I have a 9 volt battery uh, underneath here and uh, that 9 volt battery is connected to uh, the Arduino uh, using a cord, uh, universal cord that I got from Radio Shack. Now these eyes are about $30 a piece. Um, they're a little bit expensive. I've complained to Radio Shack about that but they won't do anything. Uh, the Palalu uh, uh, motor controller there is about $25, uh, and the Arduino there is about $20 or so. I think it's $19.95. I don't want to get that wrong. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. So here we go. Now you notice it's, it kind of runs into things sometimes, but that's okay, it's got, it's got a bumper on it. It's not exactly the most elegant robot, and it has to do a little bit with the programming. Um, it's kind of fighting with itself, um, because I'm trying to determine if it's gone anywhere since the last time it ran. So you'll notice it's, it's stopping and then it's continuing on after about a second or so. And it's doing a full reverse and then it's doing some short reverses and doing some turns. Um, that has to do with you know how far something is on the side and how far something is in front of it. So it's really just the programming that's fighting with itself. <laughs> and here I'll back up pretty soon, or it should. I think what's going on here is it's got a infinite uh, infinite distance protector on it. So if the front eye can't see something um, far away from it, then it'll sit there and try to continue forward. Uh, it is getting, kind of getting in the way. So I need to fix the programming a little bit, but other than that, I mean the the eyes look good, everything seems to be working okay, so maybe I'll fix that. Oh, and that clicking noise that you hear is the left and right 
motors um, or the programming for the left turn and the right turn um, fighting with each other. So it's turning the turn motor on and turning it off, turning it on, turning it off. So I'll eventually get that fixed too. Anyways, that's my new robot. And let's take it out of the corner there. So there we go.